Welcome back to an episode of Let's Build Twitter. We are in episode 70, and in this episode, we focus on some refactoring of the code that we wrote in the previous episodes, as well as fixing up some bugs that are introduced in some previous episodes as well. We start out in the user service, refactoring the set profile or banner picture to remove any existing custom images that the user uploaded for their banner or profile picture before uploading the new one. This is because the user will only ever have one profile or banner picture at a time, so we don't need to hold on to those new ones. After this, we stay inside of the user service to fix the issues of users being able to follow themselves. If a user does attempt to follow themselves, we throw a new exception type that we create and handle it with a new custom exception handler inside the user controller class. And finally, we wrap up the episode by fixing the configuration to allow users to view other people's followers and following lists without having to be logged in. As always, I'm Ethan on a coder and let's hop straight into the development. So let's go ahead and fix a couple of things real quick before we end off. First off, whenever a user logs in or whenever a user changes just their profile picture. I want to be able to get rid of their old profile picture. That way it isn't clogging it up. However, I am going to eventually upload like a default that gets set. Um, so I do want to make sure we don't delete that one. So I'm going to make things slightly different here. So I'm going to go into the um, user service and inside of the um, set profile or banner picture, we're going to make a couple of changes. So we're gonna keep the photo and everything like that. So we are gonna go and upload a new photo. And what we're gonna go and do is we're gonna add a try catch. And we're going to make some room. So first we're gonna say if, well the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is say, um, what do I wanna do here? This is gonna be kind of gross, I guess. But we're gonna say if prefix dot equals once again p f p and what we're gonna go and do is have some logic in here so we're gonna say that we're gonna say if user dot get profile picture is not equal to no well let's do this instead we're gonna say image uh image like this that's not gonna work um so we'll keep it how we had it so we'll say if this if this is equal to null if this is not equal to null or user dot get profile picture dot get and we're gonna say um image name i guess um dot equals and then we'll say um default pfp or something like that dot jpeg or png probably so if it doesn't have a profile picture or if they have a profile picture, this should probably be and. If they don't have a profile picture or if they do have a profile picture and the profile picture isn't default. Although we're gonna set it by default. So maybe instead what we can say is, um, we'll keep it, I guess, just in case. So if it's not null and the it's not the default profile picture, we're gonna say path P is equal to paths dot get user dot get profile picture and then we're gonna say dot get image path and we're gonna say files dot delete we're actually gonna say dot delete if exists Then we're gonna delete that path P. So if we have a profile picture that is not the default, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. And we'll say user dot set profile picture to the file. Or actually it will set it to photo. So basically if we're updating the profile picture and the user 
has a profile picture already that's not default, then what we'll go ahead and do is delete that photo. That way we don't have a whole bunch of photos uh, that we don't need. And then otherwise, if user dot get banner picture is not equal to null um, it will also say and user dot get banner picture dot uh, get image name dot equals Uh, equals and then we'll say default uh, BNR dot PNG and we probably need to say not so not so if it is either not null or it's not null and it's not the default and it's not null and it's not the default and then we'll say the same thing path p is equal to paths dot get user dot get banner picture dot get image path and then files dot delete if exists that path p and then we want to say user dot set um, banner picture to that new photo and then finally we need to catch an io exception uh, e and here it will say throw new unable to save photo exception like so. And I don't know what the issue with this is, but we need to import it. So now essentially what's going to happen is we will go ahead and set the profile picture, but if it's not the default one, we're going to delete it. That way we don't have 700 uh, profile pictures. And then now what we want to do is go ahead and say, excuse me. Now what we want to go ahead and do is make it so the user can't follow themselves. So what I'll go ahead and do is just say, um, if we'll say, if user dot equals follow e we should probably throw an exception here throw new um what do we want to call this follow exception or something so we'll throw a new follow exception so you're not allowed to follow yourself we're going to say this throws A follow exception like so we need to go ahead and create this follow exception so go ahead and create this class um, this needs to go into dot um, exceptions cool and we'll say um, public follow exception and we'll say uh, super users cannot follow themselves and finally inside of our user controller we need to go ahead and say that this could throw that exception so inside of slash follow we'll say this throws a follow exception and we'll save then we'll import follow exception and then we'll also make a quick handler so maybe above here we'll say um at exception handler um, and we'll say follower exception dot class like so and then maybe uh do 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 we called it follow exception whoops follow exception and we can just do a public response 
entity, I suppose, of type uh, string. We'll just call this handle follow exception. It's not going to take anything. And we'll return a um, new response entity of type string. And it'll say users cannot follow themselves. This shouldn't be possible whenever we get done with our front end, but it is what it is. HTTP status dot, is there an illegal? It's not illegal. Uh, let's see. We could do conflict, I suppose. I'll just say forbidden. It's forbidden to follow yourself. And one other thing that I do want to go ahead and do is go into our configuration while we're just fixing up a couple of bugs. And I want to add in a dot MVC matchers to slash user slash followers slash star star dot permit all. You should be allowed to see who anyone follows MVC matchers slash user slash following slash star star dot permit all. And I might want to say, let me double check the user controller slash follow. Oh no, that's fine. Cause slash follow is a put mapping. Um, and it's not slash followers or slash following. So slash following slash star star. And let's just double check these slash following slash star star. So anyone can view followers or people who you're following and then following and followers. Yes. Cool. So basically I just want it so that you don't have to be logged in to view these and that should be fine. So that should be some of the bugs that we found fixed as well. Unfortunately, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, please stick around for the next episode by hitting that subscribe button. You'll know exactly when it comes out, especially at that bell icon. If you did enjoy the content today, please sure leave a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a thumbs down. Either way, it helps out with the algorithm all the same. And finally, if you have any suggestions or feedback for me, make sure you leave a comment down below. With that being said, I appreciate you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.